Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. You're worthy to be praised, oh God. You're worthy of all the glory. You're worthy of all the honor. Your name be lifted up, God. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise our great God. Praise our amazing God. How wonderful you are, Lord. How amazing you are, God. We glorify your name, God. We worship you, God. We bless you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for another day, oh God. Thank you, God, for another day. Thank you for this moment, oh God, that you're able to bless us right now, oh God. Right where we're at, oh God. We praise you, God. We give you glory, God. We give you honor, God. We lift you up, oh God. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless your name, our great God. Hallelujah, God. How holy you are, oh God. How righteous you are, God. How amazing you are, oh God. Lord, get the glory, God. Get the glory. Hi. Get the glory, oh God. We bless you, God. Our Savior and Lord. Jesus. In the name Ooh. of 
move on, God. Yes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of move Jesus. up and down the aisle. Yes, Lord. In the name of in Jesus, name of we need you to have your way, God. Have your way, have your way, have your way in this place, way, like only you can, like oh God. Can. In the name of in Jesus, rain on us tonight, Please, God. Lord.
continue, oh God, yes, huh, Lord, to refresh us, oh God, yes, Lord, in the name of the Jesus, name God, of Jesus, one Lord, by one, oh yes, God, Lord, yes, name Lord, by name, God, yes, have your way tonight, have God, have way. like never before, yes, oh God, yes, we're looking, oh God, yes, for Pentecost tonight, God, yes, Lord, in the name of yes, Jesus, Lord, God, Jesus. send the Pentecost, yes, God, yes, huh, yes, in the name Jesus, God, rain on us again, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. Look upon our bishop tonight, oh God, as he stands, oh God. Hallelujah. Cover him right now, God, with your precious blood, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Let your spirit, oh God, rest upon him, oh God. Anoint him afresh, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have your right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We're expecting you, oh God, to show up again, oh God. We can't do anything, oh God, without you, oh God. We tell you thank you right now. Let healing take place, Lord God. Set the captives free, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Do it again for us, oh God. Bless in a mighty way, God. Those that have come, oh God, find me, oh God. Have your way tonight, oh God. We find accidents and incidents in the name of Jesus, God. We're going to give you glory, God. We're going to lift you up, oh God. You said in your word, oh God, if we lift you up, you will draw, oh God. I'll mean unto thee, oh God. So right now, Lord God, we need a drawing in the name of Jesus. Draw us, oh God, closer together, oh God. Let brother in love continue, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. Let your blood cover us all, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. We're expecting, oh God, to do, oh God, and see. Abundantly, above all, God, we can ask or think, oh God. So here we are, God, with our cups out, God. Have your way, oh God. Fill our cups till we want no more. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed us till we want no more. I will so. A thirsty for you, oh God. We need a refill huh, of the Holy Ghost huh, in the name of Jesus. Huh. Fill us again like we know you can, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we'll continue, oh God, give you the glory, huh, to give you the honor, give you all the praise, oh God, because it all. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus.
praise in the place. Can we do a little bit better than that? It's Friday night and we're here to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. All I need is a few people that don't mind helping me lift him up. Come on, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, Jesus is worthy to be praised. All I need is at least 10 people in here that don't mind clapping your hands, opening up your mouth and helping me give our God some praise. Come on, great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He's worthy of our glory, of his glory. He's worthy to be lifted. He's worthy to be honored. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be blessed. And we take this opportunity to worship him in spirit and in truth. Can I get you to be a Psalm 47 one church tonight? Clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Wish I had some more believers in here. Clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Come on, Zion, let me hear you praise him. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Can I get everybody to clap your hands and give God the best praise that you can give him? Not only do I want you to clap your hands, but I want you to open up your mouth and let's fill the room with glory. I know you have your mask on, but come on, open up your mouth and give him glory. Tell somebody, say, I came to have church tonight. Tell somebody else, say, I came to have church tonight. I came to give him the best praise that I can give him. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, say, will you help me have church tonight? We're going to have some church. Can I get you to put your hands together? Come on, we're going to have good church. Put your hands together, if you will. Way. 
wish y'all would put your hands together like you sanctify. sanctuary your hands are lifted up in the sanctuary sometimes in praise and worship especially when we get in the holy meeting we want to be entertained 
If they don't sing your right number, you won't get up and you won't clap, you won't do nothing. But the Bible says it, and it's still true, that the Father seeketh such who would worship him in spirit and in truth. And tonight I'm looking for some true worshipers that will just meet me right where I am. That you could just testify with your hands and with your mouths open that if it had not been the Lord who was on your side. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. You don't know where you would be. The old church used to sing song, without God, I would be nothing. And without him, I surely would fail. Hallelujah. Your hands are lifted in this place. Come on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, speak well of him right here. Hallelujah. 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 I want to give myself to you. I want to do what you tell me to. I want to go wherever you say. Say the word and I'll obey. I want to live a life that's real. I want to serve you, Lord, for real. For you deserve all this and more. I give you more. I give you more, more. I wanna give, I wanna give my best to you. I wanna do what you ask me to. I wanna go wherever you say. Say the word. Say the word. Can y'all help us sing it? I wanna live. I wanna live like that. I wanna serve you. I wanna serve you, Lord, for real. Yes, for He deserves. Come on and say, I give you more.
stand for our ecclesiastical procession. jurisdiction, the Honorable Bishop Edward Robinson, Sr. Come on, lift it up, everyone. Early Come on, in the you morning. Can do that. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. We 
come to lift up the name of Jesus. We come to magnify you. We come to glorify you. We come to give him praise on tonight. He's worthy. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for this night. We thank God for this Friday night. Amen. This is the final night of our holy convocation. I don't know about you, but I'm expecting God to have his way. I, I said, I'm expecting God to have his way. I came here looking for something. I, I didn't come just to be coming, but I came to get something from God. I said, I came to get a touch. I came to feel the presence of the Almighty God. I came to get a move of God. I came to experience God in a way like never before. Hallelujah. We bless you tonight. We thank you tonight for each and every one of you that is here. Amen. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We're going to our program on tonight. Amen. Amen. We're having our invocation. Our invocation by Superintendent Oliver. Amen. Following him, we'll have our scripture by Elder Malcolm Dixon, Old Testament, New Testament, by Pastor Gabriel Hall. We'll have worship and song by the voice of the Florida Central Second. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you again for allowing us to come together. We thank you because thou art God, and besides thee, there is no other. All power is in your hand. We need you tonight, God. We need your help. We need your strength. Oh, God, bless it a special way. Bless it a mighty way tonight, oh, God, that your presence be with us, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, that someone will cry out tonight. I yield, I yield. I can't hold out no longer. What must I do? Well, I want to be saved. God, save to the utmost, Father. In the name of Jesus, do it, Father. Do it tonight, God. Let the open, blind eyes open, God. Let the lame walk. In the name of Jesus, there's power in your word, God. Hallelujah. Let your anointing fall afresh on us, God. Hallelujah. Bless our leader tonight. Bless our leader tonight, God. Crown his head with wisdom and understanding, God. Let that anointing rest upon him, God. That make preaching easy. In the name of Jesus, we ask your Father, look upon those who desire to be and can't be tonight, God. But God, touch them wherever they are. On the beds of affliction, God, raise them up tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your power be revealed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now, God, we give it unto you. Blessed we shall be blessed. Keep us, O oh God, and we shall be kept. And all that is accomplished, we give your name the praise. Lord, grant it tonight, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's people said amen. Testament scripture will be coming from Psalms chapter 24, starting at the first verse. The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded upon the seas and established it upon the floods, who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord, or who else shall stand in his holy place. He that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, 
nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that they may seek his face. O oh, Jacob, Selah, lift up your head, all ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, oh ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. Selah, look at your neighbor, say neighbor, I don't know what you come to do, but I come to bless the Lord. Maybe that's the wrong neighbor. Look at another neighbor. Say, oh, neighbor, I don't know what you come to do, but I come to bless the Lord. Amen. The New Testament scripture for tonight will be coming out of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, beginning at the 23rd verse. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup, when he has supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show forth the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, well, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that blood, and eat of that bread, and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Read for you seven verses of the first book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 23 through 30. May God bless the hearers and doers of his word.
in your life. Joy, unspeakable joy, and full of glory. Bishop, I, I, I don't, I, I, we, we family tonight, but I just want to share a little testimony. Hallelujah. For the last two years, I've been dealing with bladder cancer and prostate cancer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just on, when, on last Monday, I had to have another surgery. Hallelujah. Went back on Wednesday of this week, and the doctor told me the cancer came back. But when he told me, I, I didn't get all bent out of shape. Because he told me, he said, Reverend Poor you, he said, you're running out of options. And my mind began to wonder, and I began to go to the word of God. And I said, I remember a woman that had an issue of blood. And the Bible let me know that she had ran out of options. She had spent all of her money. She went to every doctor in town. But when she heard about Jesus, Oh God, I thank you. I, I don't have a reason to be sad. When they were singing the song, a song, I said, I have joy. Why? Because I know that God is a healer. I know that God is a deliverer. I know that God is a way maker. Somebody holler, I got joy. Even in the midst of my situation. In the midst of what I'm dealing with. I said, I got it. The joy that I have, the world didn't give it. And the world can't take it away. I got it. The joy that I have, my situation doesn't determine my joy. Because I know that he was wounded for my transgression, bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And with his stripes, do I have any believers in hell? Somebody holler, he healed, he healed, he healed, he healed, he healed, he healed. Hiya, hi, glory. Say a boy, shut
Hallelujah. I say he was bitten by a viper. Hallelujah. Say, vengeance suffer him not to live. The Bible said, but if they kept on looking, the Bible said he shook it off. My God, I'm going to shake it off. I shall live and not die. But I'm going to declare the works of the Lord. Let me get out of the way. Hallelujah. 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 bless you God bless you hallelujah I got joy I have joy we're going to have our greetings we're going to have our greetings God bless you bishop we are not bishop tonight come on Administrative assistants, superintendents, pastors, elders, ministers. God bless you, Lady Robinson. Amen. Hiya. Check out the
you whatever you need is here right now I promise you healing is here right now it can't be this many testimonies in here and God not do it is here. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, glory. Ha! Yeah, no, 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 Jesus. Glory. Glory to God. The song says, we got to do our assignment. God will take care of you. Pastor Pulliam, God will. Superintendent, God will take care of you. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. God will take care of you. You got to tell them like you mean it and like you know it. Say neighbor. God will take care of you.
you. Amen, amen. We're going to have uh, offertory appeal, Superintendent Cedric Johnson. Amen. Amen. We honor the Lord for his goodness and his mercy. It's because of his mercies that we have not been consumed. And great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, unto me. We just bless him tonight. I tell you, the power of the Holy Ghost is in this place. Surely the presence of the Lord is here. We bless him. I say to the church, I pass. I don't want to come to church and the Lord don't show up. Otherwise, we just had a we just had a gathering. And I don't gather. And the Bible declares that if two or three of us come together, he promised that he'd show up and be in the midst of us. And I'm telling you right now, this jurisdiction is full of miracles, signs, and wonders. I'm going to say it again. This jurisdiction is full of miracles, signs, and wonders. You ought to look at somebody and tell them you're looking at a miracle right now. No, no. What's, what's your miracle? He saved my soul. See, sometimes we got to dig up stuff, but I'm just glad to be saved. Old folks say, I thank God that I'm saved and I'm sancti. Y'all don't know that. And I'm Holy Ghost and I'm fire. Mm. That's why I'm glad right there. If I don't get another car, if I don't get another house, I'm just glad to be saved. I said, out of all the people in the world, he saved me and filled me with the Holy Ghost. Knowing all that I had done, he still saved me. See, some of y'all done forgot because you act like you don't remember. But you ought to tell somebody everything I did in my past, he still made choice of me to save me. I'm just glad to be saved. Glad to be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost and that with a mighty burning fire. Speak in tongues as the Spirit give utterance. Run when I feel like it. Shout if I wanna. Dance with my feet, get light. You don't know where he brought me from. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful. Every day with Jesus I get sweeter than the day before. And I honor him tonight. I just bless him. There's power in this room tonight. I don't care what you need, you could get it right now. And God keeps on proving himself. Sometimes look like the more he proves himself to us, the less we praise him. Why don't you look at somebody and tell them, I know I owe him. I said, I know. I know that I know that I know that I owe him a praise. And I found out you can't be God given no matter how you try. I shared with Bishop a few weeks ago, we in a building project. We messed around and walked on the ground. One man had one stick in his hand and stuck it in the ground and declared half the land, third of the land, wetland. I called Bishop. I said, Bishop, I'm about to aggravate it. He said, don't let it stop you. Be around it if you got to but build the Lord's house. 
And I'm telling you right now, sometimes it's good to have a leader that knows how to encourage you. I don't want no leader ain't been through nothing. I want a leader who been through something and can tell me hanging there, doc. It's going to be all right. And I'm telling you right now, I thank God for a leader such as this. A leader that's touchable, that's reachable. He's human. And he understands the things that we all face and go through. I'm not here to sell bishop to us tonight. That's not my job. If you don't know him by now, shame on you. He doesn't run from the people, he run to the people. There's some leaders you can't touch. I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna say again, it's some leaders you can't get close to, you can't. You got to go through 10 people and an administrator, the dog, the cat. But you can go directly to the leader. And I appreciate that, I do. And so on tonight, we come to be a blessing. Close of this 20th year anniversary celebration. Look where he brought us from. How many folk been here all 20 years? Raise your hand. 20 years, and we still here. Nothing but... Hallelujah, my hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm speechless Prophet, right now. I just, I'm, I'm still in my spirit. I'm still dancing. That's my all God. I can say. My, in, in, in the words of uh, Bishop Hutchins last night, my, 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 my. my. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did not the glory cloud come in this place on tonight, Prophet? And, and it's still here. Oh my God. It's still here. Oh my God. Listen, y'all, it's still time. It's yes. still time. Our leader will be speaking tonight. If you can get here, yes. get here. 2179. Emerson Street. When I tell you the Lord is with us He's on tonight, here. He's here. I done cried out my little <laughs> mascara, my little, listen, honey, we done dance. The bishop dance. Listen, I said it's too my early for goodness. me to be sweating. Oh, no. <laughs> but listen, God is with oh, us. Praise and, the Lord. and listen, if you're in town, you ain't yes. doing nothing. We don't care whether you have on black or white. Put yes. something on yes. and get in the house. There's yes. an anointing yes. in this house Amen. tonight. Amen. And we're believing God for healing, breakthrough. Yes. This yes. is the eighth month. And God has given us a new beginning. Our yes. bishop titled our, the theme for our convocation is Ebenezer. Ebenezer. The Lord has helped us yes, up yes, until yes, now. Yes, yes, and yes. listen, saints, don't miss this. Don't miss Amen. this. But while Amen. we're on, we want to make sure that you're doing your part for those people yes. that can't come. Share. Yes. And we want to hear from you. Roll yes, call. Roll call. <laughs> Where you at? Yes. Where are you watching from? We want to know who's we with us know. on tonight. Yes, yes. We thank God for his glory and his power. Yes. And guess what? Even if you can't get here, you can still do your part. Oh. Love, like, and share. Do the work of an evangelist. And you know how? <laughs> share. You Listen, hear me? Virtual evangelist. Yeah, virtual. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Share. Share. Come on. This is it, and God has been blessing us. We All this week, we had a yes. countdown. Uh, Bishop Gary Hall kicked us off. He really blessed us. He, oh, he's yes. an anointed teacher. Yes, yes. We left with some really, really good thought. Yes. Then on Wednesday, Lady Joy oh, Cooper, yes. Evangelist oh, yes. Joy Cooper from Miami, she messed us up yes, with the did. Cinderella yes, syndrome. Yes, she did. Yes, you hear she me? did. I, I, I had to go home and, and read the, the, <laughs> the actual. Book again. Yeah, you know, the Disney the Disney cleans it up. Yes. But the actual folklore, she preached oh, yes. from that she and it, it. it messed us up. It and is then, so. And then last night, oh. <laughs> the Bishop Derek Hutchins Sr., y'all know he walked through this place. Don't listen. You got to go back. You got to go back. We and watch it, yeah. But on tonight, on tonight, on tonight, as you listen, say, the conclusion, the conclusion of the, of whole, the whole matter. matter. Listen, if you got to take a break, take your break now. All right. Because in about five minutes, in about five minutes, I say, get your phones if you can't be here, the computers, wherever, and you don't want to turn away from this Facebook. Amen. Yes, that's true. Group, page, whatever, <laughs> whatever y'all call and it today. Share it. Let us know share you share it too, but let's yes. do this. Roll I call. see your uh, star, Superintendent yes. Pullum. He messed yes. us up tonight. He, he lit oh, this. Oh, yes, he lit it he up. Struck he struck this fire. Yes. He started this. <laughs> we got Pentecostal. We got Upper Room in All the right, house. All right, St. Lucie. Minister O.J. Williams, he say he mad he not here. Well, you just watch, O.J. You watch. <laughs> we know you busy, but you do, what, Upper, upper room, room again. Upper Room Miami again. Yes, okay. Sister Barbara Penn, Pentecostal. Oh, and we got some good visitors. Yes. 
is. St. Matthew Baptist Church, Fort Amen. Pierce. Come Amen. on. Y'all can come. Listen, let us know you shared. If you, Amen. If you shared this, type the word share. Yes. You know, let's yes. Inter, let, yes. Let, we want to have some interaction from you. We want to make sure that you're doing something to help out the ministry. Amen. And this Amen. is a great form, a great way to evangelize. Yes. Share what's going on tonight. Sister Teresa says she is watching from Mary, North Carolina. All we right. know you're faithful to you. We know you're faithful. Listen. Pastor R.L. Cooper, Florida Western. We thank Listen. you. We and my thank sister you. is on one of the Florida's greatest gospel announcers, Miss Cynthia Melvin All Fortier. All right. We see you from I Fort see Pierce. You, yes. Love you. They're thank sharing it. Thank you for thank confirming you for sharing, that you're Latanya. sharing. Yes. Thank you. Listen. Uh oh. Baton Rouge, Louisiana is in the house. Oh, but guess All what? right, Sister Lily. DC. I see you perfecting Saints Ministry, Listen. another Fort Pierce. Listen, y'all. We want y'all to share. We don't want to hold this good thing to ourselves. Share it with somebody. Listen, We're going to go back in because the choir is ministering right now. Well, and, and, and they're singing under the power. Uh, and and it, well, listen, our director tells us we have a little more time. Listen, tonight we already know it's designated <laughs> for healing. You hear yes. me? So those of you who are watching, I promise you, oh, yeah. some healing is going to move from this church Amen. to your house. Amen. Because Amen. it's already starting to flow. Yes. If you caught the earlier part of this worship, a wave of God flowed oh, and yes. it's still flowing. Oh, yes. It's still flowing. Oh, yes. It's still flowing. Yes. You it, hear? Ma it makes worshiping easy and it makes preaching easy. God knows. Oh, God knows. God. And they're doing another part of worship now that you can do too. Give. That's right. Amen. The mode of giving, I mean, has been presented to us and we want to make sure that you also receive your blessing by giving Amen. because when you give god gives to your house oh, yes. sister melissa there's no way that i've ever given to god and he has not give give to not me not only does he give <laughs> press down yeah, shaking shake together, together and, and run, run it over. over oh yes you can't beat god's yeah. even if you try i know Amen. that's the truth Amen. yeah we love y'all listen yes, god and we you. are excited for what god is doing tonight Amen. You hear me? Please stick around with us. Thank y'all for checking in. Yes. And please, share. if you share this, type the word share. Yes. We want to make sure. And God bless you, uh, uh, missionary evangelist Brenda Chambers. Yes. We are praying for you. Amen. She said she got her couch shout on oh, tonight. come on. All we right, are believing, sis. God, that healing is touching your body. Amen. Love you. Love we got you to go, y'all. Yes, God bless you. Then we're going to have conference observations by Pastor Terrence Rulak. We're going to have an introduction of our speaker by assistant, Charlie Little, administrative assistant. Praise the Lord, saints. Registration is still going on right now. Please make sure you get your taste of history of this 20-year jurisdictional celebration. Here in the back, we have bags. We have, uh, glory to God, we got T-shirts. We have polos. We have everything you need in order to go back and tell everybody how wonderful this convocation was. Uh, save the date for September 21st through the 23rd, our women's convention. Uh, they're going to be having, come on, give the women a hand. It's going to be held at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. 3575 Northeast 15th Street in the beautiful city of Gainesville, Florida. Please make sure you're there. I'm telling you, the women have got some great things in store for you. Uh, all of the other major announcements have been on the board, um, but I want to encourage, uh, you have to excuse me, I, I just, may I please encourage my brother? I, 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 I sat on the side there and I, I got a little teary eyed because I understand what you went through Wednesday because I've been in that room when they tell you ain't no hope and I've been in the room when they tell you ain't nothing else you can do but I want you to know brother I want to encourage you the devil is a liar the devil is a liar because what they told us God gave us three times what the doctor said and when they tried to tell us something else we looked at him and said we don't want to know because our time is in God's hands so it ain't over until God say it over you praise him and you give him glory because God got the last say so God bless you Come on, say praise the Lord, saints. Come on, say praise the Lord again. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. 
God is good. Oh, bless his name tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I have the awesome task tonight. Stand before you and present to some and introduce to others tonight our leader. I've been here on this ship for 20 years. And I've watched our captain through the wind and the rain, storms and the cyclones of life. When he started the course, somebody say, thank the Lord. See, when you're the captain, you, you can't afford to let the crew see you shaking. You can't afford to let the crew see you trembling. You may have to tremble late at night by yourself. But he's the kind of captain that when he stepped out in front of the crew, no matter what the situation, all is well. That's the kind of leader we have tonight. As Superintendent Johnson said, he's a touchable leader. The leader you can confide in and he will seriously pray for you. And if he can help you any other way, he will. But most of all, he's a man of integrity. He's a man that loves God. He's a man that's full of the Holy Ghost. And if you, any of you that know me by now, Know that I'm not following anybody that's not going anywhere. But I love him tonight. And I appreciate him so much. For the man of God that he is. And I appreciate the fact that God gave him to us. For our leader. And I want you to know tonight that after they sing this song. I want you to stand and avail him tonight. The prelate of Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction in the person of Bishop Edward Robinson Sr. Come on, let's give God a hand clap for him tonight. Whatever you do for me, however things turn out to be.
God for me. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Thank God for all things in, in Jesus' name tonight. Oh, what a glorious experience we have shared together. And uh, certainly this has been the epitome of God's expression of his approval upon what we have done throughout this week and up until now. God has certainly blessed us. Amen. I, I feel great in my spirit tonight. Amen. God is at work. Irregardless of what seemed to be opposite of what you have prayed for. God's still at work. I believe God is not finished with us yet. I believe that there's, there's other amazing thing the Lord will desire to do in us and through us. We are celebrating victory tonight and great success in his name. Appreciate the gathering throughout the week and especially tonight. We appreciate you coming to share in person uh, with us as we worship the Lord in spirit and uh, in, in truth. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for blessing us and for your kindness shown to us in giving us God a mindset to come together to assemble ourselves together in the house of worship appreciate the blessing God you have sent it unto us thank you God for divine favor thank you for mercy and for your compassion that faileth not we come yielding ourselves to you tonight that your will might be done and that your purpose might be accomplished God touch me a special way tonight, touch these feeble lips of clay. And Father God, hide me behind the cross of Calvary. Let Christ alone be exhorted in this house. This is my prayer. This I ask in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Oh, bless the Lord tonight. Oh, bless him tonight. Bless him tonight. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, help me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. God, his name. You may be seated tonight. We're so thankful again for you coming to share in this closing night of the convocation. And certainly we appreciate how God has orchestrated everything that has taken place. And uh, we can all testify that up until now the Lord has been helping us and when we couldn't even help ourselves and the Lord had helped us to to achieve and to accomplish those those goals that he has given as a part of the division, the vision and uh, the mandate for this jurisdiction to all our leaders tonight certainly thank God for uh, the executive staff tonight God bless thank God for the music ministry and for sharing amen ministry of assistance tonight thank you so very much for sharing in in meaningful ways and to help us to continue on in in the power of the holy spirit uh, thank you for your loyalty and, and for your enabling me to continue when i couldn't function on my own you were there uh, for me and represented me and and because of you my assistant we we didn't miss a beat. And I thank God for our jurisdictional supervisor, Mother Lil. God bless you. My first is my wife tonight, to, uh, uh, sister to mother, Bangus Terry Farmer, to all these wonderful, uh, beautiful district missionaries tonight. For all the women of the Lord, for all these superintendents again, and for the pastors tonight, and uh, for each and every one of you. This has been a, a good week. I said, this has been a good week. Thank God. And for the workshops, and for her sister, uh, listen for her the staff that shared. We had a wonderful time uh, yesterday when we was dining around the table. We had a wonderful time. Hey, Amen. You, you know, you, you get to know people better than when you eat. Amen. Amen. Jesus was raised from the dead. The disciples were discouraged as he walked on Emmaus Road. And he talked with them and communed with them. And they testified, said, this, didn't our hearts burn as the man of God spoke to us by the way? Thank God for fellowship. 
I said, thank God for fellowship. Fellowship is when all the brothers and the sisters get in the same ship. Thank God for the togetherness and for God aligning us together for the purpose in which we set out. Amen. At the beginning of the year, the Lord has been with us and he has blessed us. Tonight, we, as you know, we are celebrating the Lord's Supper. Tonight, also, we have two uh, brothers who are ministers, going to be ordained as, amen, as elders, and one, one preacher going to be installed as, as a pastor. So we're going to move on. Amen. Sign of, sign of progress. Sign of advancement. God promised that he would enlarge our territory. 20 years, amen, the Lord has blessed us. Some have fallen by the wayside. Some who started off with us are no longer with us. But thank God we are here. I say thank God we are here. By the grace, by the grace of God. I want to share tonight, if you certainly uh, pray with me and for me. I uh, appreciate uh Superintendent Pulliam tonight. <laughs> One thing we all can agree with that the Holy Ghost is in charge. He's the one that dictates. It's not a man thing, it's a spiritual phenomenon that takes place when the saints get together. Well, what a time we can have. We all get together with a time that we can have. Amen. And we give the Lord praise. From the book of Deuteronomy tonight, chapter, chapter 8, share just a few, a few verses in your, your hearing. Amen. Yes. Deuteronomy, the eighth uh, uh, chapter. Commence at verse 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in a willingness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandment or no. He humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger fed thee with manna which thou knewest not neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know known that man does not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God verse 11 said beware that thou forgettest not the Lord thy God and not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes as I command thee uh, this day. Verse 18, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. It is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy father as it is this day. And it shall be if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God and walk after other gods and serve them and worship them. I testify against you this day that ye shall surely perish. First uh, Corinthians chapter 11 said and verse 24 said and when he had given thanks he broke it and, and said take heed this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Verse 25, after the same man also, he took the cup. And he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Let the saints of God say amen. amen. Talk from this subject, forget not to remember. Or remember, rather, not to forget. To remember not to forget. That's the prevailing thought that God would like to 
convey tonight in the gathering of the saints of God on this, this night of celebration. Just remember not to forget. You know, oftentimes we are victimized and we've been indicted because we get amnesia. And for some reason we, we forget. And some people who are panicking because at a certain age they just can't seem to remember certain things. They, they forget where they parked the car, forget where the keys are. And the devil wish whisper in your ears so you suffer from dementia. Oh, Hymas. But that's a part of the process of living, especially you get a certain age, you, you start forgetting things. And uh, I'd have you to know tonight that from a natural standpoint, we have certain diseases that affect us, uh, that cloud our brains and cause oxygen not to flow freely through our brains. So we, we get to the point we just can't recall certain things. Some people have short-term memory loss, and some have long-term. Uh, some people can remember what happened yesterday, but five years ago, they, they can't remember nothing. They can't recall nothing. Then, then some people have selective amnesia. <laughs> By choice, they want to forget. Yeah, they, they, they forget to pay you back your money, just forget to... Get to do what you ask them to do. So memory loss is not just for older person, but young people forget. Children forget to wash the dishes. They, they, they forget to, amen, to do a little trivial uh, chores around the house. Just, they forget to do the homework. Just, just forget. Just, amen. But it's just a part of of nature, just, just, just forget things. A lady called me once and she was panicking and, and she said, uh, somebody stole my car. So I'm at the mall and somebody stole my car. And then she was talking to me and then she said, you know what, I didn't drive my car, I drove my husband's car. Just, 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 just forgot. Amen, when, when your brain is clogged, amen, and, and, and the freedom Yes, so oxygen is not penetrating. Uh, sometimes it causes the, the blood to stop flowing, and that's why some people have strokes, because the, the blood is not flowing like it ought to flow. And somebody asked the question, is, is, is there's a remedy for memory loss? And some physicians have stated we, we lose, amen, our ability to, to recall because we don't exercise our brain. Then, too, some people are isolated, don't have no kind of skills, no intention, amen, to socialize. And they find themselves by themselves, and then because of that situation, they have memory. And some people, my God, they, they drink excessively, and they smoke, and it can have an effect on your brain. Then some infected diseases affect also the memory, syphilis effect, HIV affect your ability to recall and have clarity in your mind to think. Our cognitive skill sometimes is not what it ought to be. And we find ourselves in a bad situation. It's, and it's the sad part about it that you see our loved ones who are victimized by Alzheimer's and you know, see them dwelling and, 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 and losing, amen, their, their ability to, to remember things. And it becomes devastating, discouraging as, as to see family members who was always active and had the ability to think, uh, can't remember anything. And we have those kind of situations that exist. In the book of Deuteronomy, the, the Moses was reminding the children of Israel that some things you ought not to forget. Don't be indicted by God because you fear to put things in proper perspective and give honor to God because he is the one that have blessed you. The word name uh, Deuteronomy means the second book. It's, they had to, Moses had to repeat himself over and over that it was sank deep in their mind that the thing that he was saying concerning God's plan for the lie would not be forgotten. As a prime example of efficiency of education, you got to keep putting in your mind, repeat it over and over. Make sure something sticks 
during the course of your conversation and dialogue with your, with your children. So Moses singing his song of his last prayer, goodbye to Israel. But in his absence, he thought about what would take place when he was gone. He was concerned about the church even now. What would happen to the church after we have gone? What would the church look like 20 years from now? Would the same values that we uphold as a part of our constitution and, and according to the thing that we embrace as Pentecostal, would it be lost? Would our labor be in vain? Would our suffering be in vain? Or would all our praying and fasting and seeking the Lord would be in vain and another group that know not God take the center fold? and the stage to give leadership to the church. What a sad commentary it would be that when we had gone from this stage of life that nobody remember us. Nobody take time out to recall the thing we've done during the course of our existence on planet Earth. It should be all our endeavors that we do the best that we can and to maximize our skill and make a mark that nobody can erase. Leave something behind that folks won't forget you. They, they forget your name. Cheer and mind God forget you. After the funeral is over, they fuss and fight over a little something that you left behind. They forget your labor. They, for, they forget your teaching. They forget the struggle they saw as you try to lead them as a parent, trying to do the best that they can that they don't really understand the importance of embracing the teaching of the parent. Because if, if anybody have a right to teach, the children should be the parent. We should not forego our, our ability and our responsibility to teach our children. It, it's not the school system. Yeah, it's the parent. The fathers have to teach the son. Mothers have to teach the daughter. That's our re responsibility. So, so what they're trying and they, they take black history and the critical race theory out of the, they say the school, they don't even, it's not even in the school. There's a booger man that's creeping and causing people to have fear. Came to discuss race relationship. Back in my day, the church responsibility, amen, to teach the children about who we are as a people. Ain't nobody like us but us. Amen. I said there's nobody like us but us. We're the one that paid the way and build the roads and, and build the, the bridges. We're the ones that suffer blood, sweat, and tears. My, in spite of dogs being sick on us and amen, and being beaten with clubs. That didn't stop us from voting. That's why I get upset when the young folks say, I don't see a need to vote. Baby, somebody died for the right you have. Amen. To cast a vote that represents your conviction. Am I right, somebody? Amen. Go vote. My God, when you get through praying and seeking God, take your happy self to the poll. Now go in line. Be sure your vote count. Am I right, somebody? No, so Moses said, I don't want y'all to forget. Amen. Sometimes we forget, my God, anniversary, we forget birthdays. You forget special events. But don't you dare forget God. Don't you dare forget the one that's been everything that you need. And everything they ever hoped for. So Moses is saying, I got to leave the scene. But in my absence, I'm going to leave you, amen, some commandments that you ought to follow. Right. Yeah, God is not going to let you stay where you are. I'm leaving, but there's a still a destination ahead. Oh, yeah. oh help me, somebody. Uh, God wants you to go to a land that flow with milk and honey. Yeah, I saw it with my eyes, but my eyes are dim now. I saw the promised land, but some of y'all are going to enter the place of promise. Oh, help me somebody. Uh, I can't die without giving you hope and aspiration for a better future. My goal is to lead the children, amen, that I care under my supervision and under my tutorship, something to hope for. Help me, help me somebody. We didn't just build this church, my God, just for me to enjoy. I can't live here forever. I'm going to leave something behind. I wish I had somebody. I want to leave something behind I made my constitution declaration. When I leave here, somebody's going to remember my name. Amen. The next pastor can take my name and turn it upside down and take the picture off the wall and throw it in the dumpster. But it can't forget my labor. 
I, I wish I had somebody. I said, they can't get my, they cannot forget my value. They can't forget my worth. My God, my, my, my history and my legacy would be engraved, my God, in books of time. Time would tell I've been with God. I wish I had somebody help me here. Oh, come on, put your hand together. You be the best you can be. That nobody can duplicate. Nobody can follow the steps that you imprinted on the sands of time. My God, help me somebody. I wish I had somebody help me here. That's, why, that's, that's your resolution on your job. When you leave there, let two or three people have to replace you because you've done the best job. Can't nobody replace, Lord, help me somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. The whole system will, system will break down. The company will close if I left. I wish I had somebody here. Go ahead on fire me. But God got something better for me. I wish somebody going to appreciate me. Oh, help me somebody. And Moses said to the children of Israel, don't, don't you forget God. Don't push God aside. Don't act like God hadn't done nothing for you. Who made you? Who blessed you? Who woke you up this morning? Who breathed into your nostril? Life and purpose and a will gave you reason for living. Don't forget the one that been your everything. One who never failed you. One that always been there for you. He said that you remember the way the Lord God have led thee these 40 years. Don't forget, saints. 20 years the Lord have led us. We would not have made it this far without God's help. Help me, somebody. They said we would not make it. Amen. Just a matter of time. Thank God. We remember how it was back then. Had not been for God on our side. We would not have made it. But God did it when we couldn't do it. God helped us when we couldn't help ourselves. He'd been our bridge over troubled water. He'd been our stabilizer in a time of confusion. Who did it? God did it. Man didn't do it, but God did it. Our eternal God, our supreme God, omnipresent God, omnipotent God, Yahweh God, Elohim God, El Shaddai God. He did it. Can I tell you somebody? Sir? Tell you something? For a fact, we had some walls that we had to fight. Some battles that we had to overcome. But thank God, the God that we serve is a battle act in the time of a battle. Shelter in the time of a storm. Can I get somebody to help me here? I can't forget God. Hallelujah, somebody. As long as I can count one, two, three, four, five, I can count my blessing. And the saints all say, count your many blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. I feel like preaching here. And see what the Lord has done. God did it. I said, God did it. You know, help me, somebody. And Moses said, don't you forget now. When you was in the wilderness, how God made a way. Oh, praise the Lord. God called water to come out of the rock. Didn't he do it? He made a way out of no way. Come on, Israel, talk to me. Who gave you light in the midst of darkness. He let a, let a cloud come and led you by day and pillar of fire by night. When you was hungry, he sent manna from heaven. You can't forget God. God was with you. And the enemy tried to subdue you. God made it possible that you had the victory over your enemy. Help me, somebody. Can't forget God. He did it for me. I said, he did it for me. Gave me manna from heaven. He took care of me when I didn't have no food stamp. God did it with nothing in the refrigerator but a glass of water. Nothing to feed my child. 
but formula. But God, he paid my bill. Won't he do it? I said, won't God do it? God bless me when folks tried to curse me and told me I'd never make it. But God is more than enough. If God be for you, he's more than the world against you. God did it. He did it when I was messed up. He came to my rescue. So Moses said, God put you in the wilderness to serve a purpose. And God said, tell Moses, tell the children of I suffer you to go through the wilderness that I can prove to you I am God. But also, you need to prove that you love me. Oh, help me somebody. I put you there. And that your trials will be your testing ground. Somebody is upset because they're going through. Your trials is just for a season. You coming out of it. God said, I put you there to test you, to see what's in your spirit. I had not forgotten you. Just call my name. I come to the rescue. I gave you a fiction in your body to teach you to trust in me. I gave you the prescription for your victory to let you know that man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yes, you can't go to Ruth Chris every Sunday. No capital grill. Y'all hear me, somebody. But some kind of way, God gonna feed you. David said, I once was young, but now I'm old. But never have I seen his seed begging. Help me somebody. God will feed you. Can I get an amen? Yes, I made it a policy in my house to always have some pumpkin beans. Lord, help me somebody. Always. Hope nobody, hope nobody gets sick. But have me some sardine. Just in case I can't make it to the store. And somebody told me a full stomach is a full stomach. But God will put you in a situation temporarily. Ain't going to last always. You ain't going to be broke always. You ain't going to be sick always. You ain't going to be down always. God got a master plan. Just a matter of time, you coming up and you coming out. Hallelujah. Beware. Thou forget not. The Lord thy God. Hear me, somebody. We ain't serving Buddha or Confucius. Hear me, somebody. We ain't honor no root worker. We ain't follow no witch. Following God. Y'all help me, somebody. Yeah. You can do all you can to stop me. You can't stop me. Let the witches keep flying. Okay, how many? Okay, how many spikes? Yeah, that you put in a doll. Call my name. God can take a curse and make it out of blessing. And full word about somebody put a spell on me. I got, I got a spirit to call it the Holy Ghost. Okay. Don't you forget now. In verse 18, say, but thou shall remember, remember the Lord, your God. He bless you. He help you. Don't forget now who brought you to where you are now. People relying on their degrees, testifying about I got my PhD. I know some people that's crazy don't know what day it is. God kept your mind. Who kept you in school? Y'all better help me here. Who kept you in school? 
according to some statistics, you was only qualified for GED. Oh, but God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Now God done raised you up. My God, man. Amen. You used to be employee, now you employer. You hiring now. Y'all been helping somebody. Yeah. They, they thought the pandemic going to turn us upside down. But the pandemic helped us to restructure. Think again. Replan. My God, gave us a vision. Gave us an idea. Gave us a success plan and, and a strategy. They thought that the pandemic was going to take us out. Oh, well, we, we came out all right. My God, we're owning things. In charge of stuff. Y'all better help me, somebody. When God bless you, nobody can curse you. You've been... And Joseph had his color, coat of color. His brother hated him. Yeah, they hate you for your dream. Y'all yeah. help me somebody. Right. I remember we was building the church, had folks, amen, wouldn't come in and say anything, just stick their head through the door. Yes, say, y'all come on in. Yeah, come on in. They talk about you and they say that you won't ever do it. I'm going to live to tell, I'm going to tell the story. Because... You're going through something. That's not the end of the story. Man, that's not the final chapter. Keep reading. Hallelujah, somebody. Keep reading the last chapter. And the last chapter will tell a story of who I really was all the time. A diamond in the roof. Thank you, Lord. Went through the fire. But the fire purified me. I'm better now. I'm stronger now. I'm wiser now. Thank you, Holy, thank you, Holy Ghost. That's the Hebrew boy. My God. Threw him in the fire. Thought he'd be consumed. Ah, but the king went there looking, trying to find some ashes. My God, I've seen the three Hebrew boys dancing in the fire. That sure you know God when you got hell all around. You still can dance. Still can give God praise. Dance in your troubles. Celebrate your victory. Dance before it happens. Keep believing God for your turnaround. Preacher, don't you give up because folks are not agreeing with you and folks are not giving like they should. Keep on preaching. God got folks and join your church yet. Preach the word. Don't compromise. Don't bow down to folks who think they own you. Lord, help me somebody. I told somebody, you can't own me. I ain't never had nothing to start with. You can't buy me out. And, and money is not my God. Y'all better help me, somebody. I don't, I don't have to have riches and wealth and live in the greatest house in Jacksonville to be happy. As long as I know that God is on my side. He'll make things happen. Won't he do it? Can't forget God. It shall be if thou do it all if you, just, if, if you just do it at all. Forget the Lord thy God and walk as other gods and serve him and worship him. I testify. God said, I declare all I've done for you, how I help you, sustain you, and cover you when you was in your mess. You got the audacity turn against me. Hallelujah, somebody. My, 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 my. Lord, help me today. Don't you forget now. Sometimes God bless folks, they get a different attitude. They get a spirit. They used to hang with me. They used to go to Cracker Barrel together. Now, you done switched out on me and got a, a different kind of crew. But I knew you when you have a nappy. I knew you. You couldn't go. Y'all help me, somebody. But you couldn't go to the parlor when your mama straightened your head with a straightening comb and burn up part of your hair. I remember that day. Now you're acting so ditty. Doesn't change the way you talk. Hallelujah, somebody. But can I tell you something? The more God bless you, the humble you become. 
because God exalts you when you humble yourself. He said, don't let you forget now. And God said, you're going somewhere. My God, you're going to a place that I have prepared. A place that is flowing with milk and honey. I'm giving you houses you, you couldn't build. Vineyards you didn't plant. Water gardens. Lord, help me somebody. Navigating system. Irritation system. Hallelujah, somebody. A gated community. Somebody said, you know, somebody called me and said, I live in a gated community. And somebody called me and said, let me in. I looked, I said, you let me in. When I was down on the north, and uh, you didn't stop by there. And you can't just pass by my house. No, you out there trying to run your mouth. But guess what? Time will come. I'm going to give you something to talk about. Give me something to talk about. Now run and tell that. Tell him that I was down, but God picked me up. Tell him that God turned things around. Tell him I got my degree. I finished college. And that you didn't get pregnant. Lord, help me somebody. God to keep you, baby. He'll keep you. Woo! I'm about, I'm about through. Don't you forget God. Remember not to forget. God been so gracious to you. God done help you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He been there for you. Had not been for God on your side. You would not have, have me. Just, the only thing I'm asking, just don't forget me. Don't forget where your help came from. Hallelujah, somebody. Don't forget who healed you when the doctors gave up on you. God stepped in. Hallelujah, somebody. And Moses said, don't you get amnesia now. You don't forget that where God brought you from. Got your stuff now. It's all right to have stuff, but don't let that stuff have you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with money, but don't let money hound. Don't you love money? Y'all all right in the house? Don't make, let, all we talk about money. That's covetousness. Don't let your life be dominated by the idea you got to have more money. I can testify. A lot of money don't make you happy. You happy? Contentment. Yeah. Knowing that God is in your life. Yeah. And God is the source of your help. Yeah. That when your money is gone, God shall be there with you. Yeah. for money. Can't come to church. You gotta, you gotta get another job. First of all, that's the demonstration of your unwiseness on your part and the inability to manage that which God has put in your trust. If you, if you can't manage $100 a week, you can't manage 1000 If you're a poor manager, I'm about to, that's why God can't trust you. You done messed up that. You don't, you don't know your priority. You already helped me, somebody? People tell me, I got to have a new dress to come. You got to have a new dress to come to church every, every time you come to church. Now my nails ain't right. I'm having a bad hair day. You got to get yourself to church. Because God can turn things around. Hey, somebody. Don't you forget. We come to the point tonight as we also include the reason behind our celebration when we observe the Lord's Supper. Paul said to the, to the saints at Corinth concerning the, the proper observation of the Lord's Supper. And he said, uh, don't get it twisted now because the Lord's Supper is not like the agape feast 
when you bring in your neck bones and chitlins and hog moles and black eyed peas. And it's, 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 it's that, ain't that kind of party now? Because he said, everybody got a meal. You got your part, I got my part. And the folks that didn't have anything, they felt left out. Don't make folks feel left out. Don't embarrass people. He said in verse 14, and when he had given thanks, he sent the Lord's supper. He breaked it and said, take and eat. This is my body, uh, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Yeah. Certain symbols, yes, that we have to identify the purpose behind why we celebrate. Yes, the body, the cup, amen, the bread symbolize his broken body. The cup symbolizes his, his blood. We do it as in remembrance of him because as often as we do it, we bring back remembrance of Jesus. Always keep Jesus on your mind. Always adore him. Thanking him for the sacrifice he made and the debt that we owe, but he paid it. Jesus paid it all. All to him we owe. Sin have left a crimson stain. But he washed. Whiter than snow. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious to him that flew. It made me white as snow. No other help I know, but thank God for the blood. I said, thank God for the blood. There's something you can't shout out, but the blood can wash it out. Wash me, Jesus. Make me clean. Clean my heart. Clean my mind. Dip me, Lord, in the blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because there's a fountain filled with blood. Draw from Emmanuel vein. Sinners plunge beneath that flood and lose all their guilt and stain. The blood done sign my name. The redemption, sanctification in the blood. Wash me, Jesus. Wash me real good. Wash me until my hands look new. Wash me until my feet do too. Wash me. Transform me. Eradicate the stains in my life. Take out filthy stuff. Search me. If you find anything in me that should not be, take it out a bad spirit. Take it out. Cry, Lord. I want to be holy. I want to be right. I want to be saved. Take it out. I don't want my living to be in vain. Take it out. David said, Wash me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Help me, Holy Ghost. Something was in David that had to come out. But David said, have mercy upon me according to your loving kindness and according to your tender mercy. Blot out my transgression. I've sinned. I fall and shout, but create in me. I wish I help somebody. Create in me a clean heart. Don't help me, somebody. And renew the right spirit in me. And Lord, the bones that have been broken, mend them back because I can't dance on broken bones. Restore unto me the joy of that salvation. I hope you have somebody help me here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Wash me. Okay. I can't 
can't forget what the Lord done for me. He did it. <laughs> and I think sometimes we forget where God brought us from. You was a mess all by yourself. There's something we don't talk about. See, my life is was open book. No, you don't throw some chapters out of this because some stuff. 